so after a tough duck season, uh, we were really looking forward to actually getting to hunt turkeys on the island. The past couple years, the river's been high, and when it gets to a certain uh, level, we legally can't hunt, and we hadn't been able to hunt turkeys. One of my favorite sayings is, when duck season gets over, is I'm really glad that turkeys don't migrate. We had went over there the week before the season started, piddle around, do some things for the camp, and Eddie went out there. He had, was wanting to get some turkey pics and videos, and he set up, and man, it was turkeys everywhere. So Eddie came back, gave us the report. Turkeys were all over there, strip plot, big gobbler. Man, we were really fired up for opening day of turkey season after hearing that. We had a general idea of where this turkey on the island was staying. Me and Brooks decided we'd split up. And he, me and Eddie stayed on one end of the plot. Brooks went all the way to the other end of the plot. And we was going to try to listen and try to figure out where this turkey was. And sure enough, turkey gobbled right out there where we felt like he was going to be. And it was actually two gobbling in there that morning. We made the decision to go to the one that was the closest and got in there and got set up. I heard some turkeys fly down. I had some jakes come strutting in there and with the turkey that was gobbling, he was going back down, kind of following the river back towards where that other turkey had been gobbling, back towards the, the runway plot. So we moved out there to take a peek and it took a little time, but we, we got back in the woods right in there at the intersection of Tower Road. The turkey came in strutting and gobbling and just kind of how we, we set up. Brooks and Eddie was about 15 yards or so to my right. And the turkey came in just like you want one to do it. And as he got up there, he kind of skirted us a little bit. And he got over there in front of me and I could hear Brooks, you know, shoot him, shoot him. Uh, so that was it, it was all she wrote.
so we were really only planning on killing one turkey, uh, but we heard that other one gobbling. We knew there was a bunch of jakes still there. And after we got back to the camp, ate breakfast, packed all our stuff up, got ready to go. You know me, I was like, man, we gotta, we gotta go try them one time. And so we eased off in there where he had, uh, we had last heard him and got in there and uh, sat down. And as we were sitting down, I thought I heard a turkey gobble and I looked back at Eddie and he was like, yeah, that for sure him. And anyway, cut back at him and he gobbled and he was across a slough. I was like, man, we really got to get to the point of that slough because he's going to try to go around that to come to us. And we walked up got about a hundred yards from the point of that slough and he gobbled and he was at the point of the slough. So we had to hit the deck right there and he skirted us just to our left where we couldn't see him. And he couldn't have been 35, 40 yards and gobbled for 15 minutes. Finally, I got aggressive, cut real close to him. He started slowly drifting to the right and drifting in an opening about 40 yards and dropped a hammer. We've been thinking and dreaming about killing a turkey on the island for three years and when it finally happened, uh, man, we were pumped up. Uh, I've killed a lot of turkeys, but that one was special. <laughs> 